Ladybird is. Ladybird is. Ladybird is. Ladybird is. Ladybird is. Ladybird is inspirational. It's beautiful. This community is accurate. Is home. It's a memory. Hope. Fun. <laughs>
like my entire life because like she talks about having lived in Sacramento her whole life and that like it's not somewhere special but like getting to see it on like in a movie theater and I was sitting in the Tower Theater watching Lady Bird and then seeing like an image of the Tower Theater on the screen is just really cool and it does make it feel special even though she says when she's younger it didn't feel special. I have a different outlook on Sacramento now that it's in a movie and really um, you know popularized and like even my cousins from out of state have watched the movie and I mean they want to travel to Sacramento and I've always I've never had a great appreciation for Sacramento. My outlook on Sacramento has just been, oh, this is when I'm growing up, like, I'm gonna move, like, I haven't really loved it here, but after the movie came out, I think my appreciation for Sacramento has, like, gotten so much better, and I actually, like, enjoy being here now, and I'm thinking about, like, staying here and raising a family here after that movie. Um, it was interesting, because I remember sitting in the Tower Theater at the preview with Greta in the audience um, and when the pictures came up at the end of the movie where she's driving through the streets um, I was emotionally all the emotions that I felt were much more than I thought I was going to feel because I thought I could artistically separate myself from the story that she was presenting that I knew was inspired by truth but fictional and then it just flooded and hit me, and I essentially kind of cried like a baby when I first saw that, and it was a beautiful experience and a great appreciation, and, and I was very thankful for Greta to add that to the film, and I, I know that she knew um, what that would mean to people in this community, so I'm, I want to thank her for that, but um, it was an emotional, cathartic experience for me, actually. I've always wanted, or at least the past couple years, have really wanted to pursue a career in the film industry, and it always just seemed like not something super tangible, but like with like Greta Gerwig's success and like the success of Lady Bird and like having a character that goes off to New York and like pursues her dreams, and then also having Greta Gerwig having gone off to New York and like pursuing her dreams and being successful, like, it just, like, made me realize that somebody so close to home could do that, and, like, maybe that means I could, too. really proud that um, she was able to represent this area well. In my experience before, people who were from my hometown or from the area um, didn't necessarily represent this area in the best light. Um, and so to see a movie that not just represented Sacramento well, but, um, showed all the beauty of it and the charm of it uh, was really powerful. And yeah, it makes me really proud, especially the fact that she went to St. Francis, but the fact also that she's from Sacramento was really neat. I've always been interested in theater and I stopped doing it when I was 12. And seeing somebody that came from the St. Francis, especially like the theater program here, being able to achieve that much success inspired me to actually take the step in, go to, Rehear like tryouts or all that stuff. So yeah, one person can empower so much So many other women is pretty powerful I think it's had a lot of impact on Sacramento and especially at st. Francis. I think it's given a good spotlight to St. Francis, I think it's brought everyone else closer to each other and realize like women can depend on women um, Yeah, I've been following Greta's career as an artist um, since high school and it's been amazing to see, like, although she's, you know, only in her mid-30s, like, the scope of her work from her early work, where she and a group of friends are trying to figure out, like, their identity and, and craft this movement, this mumblecore movement that they were a part of. Um, and just all the way to Greta finding her voice as a director and knowing the steps she took along the way to invest in, um, and learning about the entire craft of filmmaking uh, on her own and just having a passion and love for film that while she had the acting there just to be able to seamlessly go into directing like that and to produce such a quality work I think is a testament to her growth as an actor and it's been inspiring. I'm so proud of her but I have been all her little life. Um, she deserves it because she works hard.
Francis High School today, there are signs of Ladybird everywhere. <laughs> Lapel pins are popular on campus, and so is Greta Gerwig. Students tell us they are inspired by Gerwig, the Oscar nominated director who graduated here in 2002. Teamed up with the current spirit coordinator to rally up the girls. We're going to get some Ladybird Greta Gerwig spirit going. <laughs> Here in the hallways of St. Francis, you'll see banners rooting for Greta. And for the past few weeks, girls have been wearing these I Love Ladybird pins dropped off at the school by Greta's parents. They even brought this movie poster. Ladies, I am a proud St. Francis alum. How proud are you to be St. Francis Troubadour? The girls love that an alum they can look up to is getting so much spotlight. She's the director and the first woman to be nominated in eight years. It is amazing. One, two, three. We love Lady Bird! Mm, I think one of the most obvious things I can think of is when we had the Oscar party for Lady Bird and, um, you know, it was students, adults, um, just kind of everyone, teachers in our St. Francis community dressing up, going to celebrate um, Greta and her accomplishments with the film. I already was proud to work at St. Francis, but it made me even a little prouder. It made me stand a little taller to be able to work at the school that's, that Lady Bird is based on, to know the kind of woman that Lady, that Lady Bird, the, the kind of woman that Greta Gerwig is. Um, I didn't really know much about her before this movie came out, and since then, she was all over the news, so I learned a lot about her and just kind of the kind of person she is, the kind of director she is, um, and it made me respect it made me respect her and the education she received at St. Francis a lot. And knowing that I work at that institution now just made me that much prouder of the fact that I'm a teacher here. Well, here at St. Francis particularly, I saw a lot of the students come together and just to like talk about the movie and a lot of people were talking to their friends, even my mom was talking to her friends saying, you know, this is about Christina's school, like Lady Bird, that girl, she was at St. Francis. So I think a lot of people just came together to really like go behind what um, Greta Gerwig was doing. And also when we had the Oscar party, even though unfortunately she didn't win, it was really cool to see oh, the majority of our, the St. Francis community and especially like people outside of it were here just to celebrate her success. I think that I saw um, Lady Bird bring the community together because it was really cool for I think the entire Sacramento community and like the St. Francis community to see someone like who was a product of like growing up in the city that all of us live in to be so successful and even seeing like billboards around town and like at school we talked about Greta Gerwig and Lady Bird all the time like seeing that success story out of Sacramento was what I think ended up bringing the community together. I think Lady Bird really resonated really largely at St. Francis and obviously because Greta's an alumni. Um, and I think it really just served to like bring the community together um, and have people like all behind this like really big common cause of like rooting for Greta and rooting for Lady Bird at the Oscars and like all the other awards shows during the season. Um, and I think also like it really, I think it like exemplifies like sisterhood and the stuff that like everyone at St. Francis is like really like we're about and I think being able to watch a movie that's so like focused on Lady Bird's relationships with her mother and her friends and like the people in her life I think it made everybody kind of appreciate relationships more and brought community together. interest in uh, filmmaking in Sacramento and while there are a lot of creatives here um, who have been trying or who do uh, make films and, and uh, other forms of art in Sacramento um, I have noticed um, a sense of inspiration uh, and desire to want to um, to be able to produce something like Lady Bird but there's uh, um, but there is a sense of uh, entitlement that since Greta went away from Sacramento to hone her craft and then came back and used Sacramento as a backdrop and um, fighting against some, you know, pretty uh, intense 
odds of trying to get funding to even film anything here in Sacramento. Um, there is a little bit of pettiness on the part of Sacramento and artists here saying, why, why didn't we get a chance to do this? Um, and I, I don't know what that has to say about them or what it has to say about me for bringing that up, but I think it's something to be aware of as we continue to discuss what our place is in Sacramento and what the creative energy is here and how we focus it. Um, and I don't think that we are entitled to a place at the table where all of a sudden just because we make something in Sacramento or because we're from Sacramento at an artist, we deserve to have the accolades that were granted Greta for some very serious um, work that she put in to this production, um, which is not despite the fact that she's from Sacramento, but it's the fact that she is a human being who just happened to create this wonderful piece that takes place in Sacramento. Uh, will we be talking about the last scene? Or just about my big boo-boo? Shall I tell you about that? Sure. It affected me because it's funny. I did, never read the script because Greta said, just do what you do. So that was good. I'll just talk. So now I'm down at the Blue House. That's all pretend, by the way. But uh, at the Blue House, and the doorbell rang, and I knew what to do, stump, 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 and open, and step out the wrong way. Well, that's not a normal way to step out, but I did. So um, here's a girl in a real short St. Francis skirt, and I said, uh, hello, are you selling something for St. Francis? I'll take it. And she said, no, I'm here to see my friend. I said, okay, who's your friend? Um, Ladybird, and I said, do you know her last name? And she started laughing and I started laughing. She said, Bird? <laughs> so they said, stop, <laughs> we'll do that over. I didn't know how it was going to end. I didn't have any idea. <laughs> so anyway, that was funny. I was laughing. <laughs> that was a big boo-boo. <laughs> She's professional. <laughs> she, she had to laugh. She didn't know what to say, neither did I. 